first graders and welcome back to Fun with Phonics. I'm Miss Lee and I'm so happy you came back for another day of reading and learning together. We have an exciting day ahead of us with Magic E. First we're going to review our vowel sounds, then I'll show you and practice together how we write words with Magic E, and then we'll have dictation. You'll have the chance to show what you learned by writing. That means you'll need something to write on and something to write with. Make sure you have that ready. Let's do our cheer to get started. Hands go up, hands go down. I can clap it all around. I can read, I'll show you how. Phonics time is starting now. You are ready. Readers, we know that vowel sounds are super important to words with magic E. We know vowels make two sounds, their short sound and their long sound. Let's start with the short sounds. My turn, then your turn. A, apple, a. E, ed, e. I, itch, i. O, octopus, ah. And you, up, a. Uh. Excellent job with those short sounds. Now we'll do the long sounds. Long vowels say their name. These vowels are going to say their name. That's their long sound. My turn, then your turn. A, safe, A. E, peat, E. I, pine, I. O, home, O. U has two long sounds. U, mule, U. And U, Rule, ooh. Nice job with those long sounds, too. You'll need those for when we start spelling sneaky E words. Give yourself a silent scream for knowing both the short and long vowel sounds. Nice job. Now we're going to practice writing words with both short and long vowel sounds. I want to show you something that helps me to write these words. I like to make a roller coaster. This helps me to hear which vowel sound is in the middle of these words, short or long. Let me show you what I mean. My first word is cap. Say cap. Now I'm going to make a roller coaster. App, ah, and I think, is that long or short? App, ah, that's a short sound. Now I can write it. K, ah, that's a close syllable word. It's making it short sound. Now I want to write cape, like a superhero puts on a cape. I'm still going to make a roller coaster. K, ape. A, I think, is it long or short? A, it's saying its name. That's a long sound. Now I can spell it. K, A, P, but this says cap. How can I make that A say A? Oh yeah, magic E. Now I have cape. Excellent. Now let's try it with another word. Not. Can you make the roller coaster with me? N, ah, t, ah, long 
long or short? That's right. Ah is O short sound. Now we could write it. N A T Not. Let's try note. Say note. Roller coaster time. N O T O Long or short. O is O is long sound. It's saying its name. Okay, now let's write it. N O T. What am I missing? Oh yeah, magic E to make that O say O. Oh. This word isn't not, it's note. Let's try another one. Cub, like a bear cub. Roller coaster time. K A B A. Long or short, friends. A uh, is use short sound. K, a, uh, b. We did it. Now let's try cube. Roller coaster. K, u, b, u. Long or short. U is use long sound. It's saying its name. Let's spell it. K, u, b. Don't forget magic E to make that you say you. Okay, let's try one more. It's a little bit tricky because it's going to have two consonants at the beginning. Spin. S -p -i -n -i Long or short. I is I short sound. Let's spell it. S -p -i Mm. Spin. I want you to try this one on your own. Spine. Like your spine in your back. Spine. Go ahead. What's the vowel sound in spine? I. Is that long or short? Long. It's saying its name. Let's spell it. S I. Mm. What do we need at the end? Magic E to make the I say I. Nice job! Readers, you're ready to see how to mark these words. Okay, when I look at this word, the first thing I do is scoop it and I think, hmm, is this closed syllable or a different kind of syllable? I know closed syllable words have one vowel, followed by at least one consonant, closing it in. This word has one vowel A, closed in by P. It's closed syllable. And if it's closed syllable, the vowel's gonna say it's short. This little scoop shows that that A is saying it's short sound. A, apple, ah. This is how I can mark a closed syllable word. Let's try looking at a word that is VCE. When I look at this word, I see right away it has a vowel, a consonant, and an E. I'm going to show it's a V, C, E word. Remember, that dash stands for the consonant. I know because this is a VCE word, that E will not make a sound, and that A is going to say it's long sound. A. I can put this line over the top of the vowel to show that it's long. This is how you mark a VCE word. Can you help me with the next one? Okay, let's first look at the word. Hmm, is it closed syllable or another type of syllable? I think it's closed syllable too. I see one vowel O with a consonant right after closing it in. It's closed syllable. And if it's closed syllable, the vowel's going to say it's short sound. That little scoop shows that the vowel is short. Let's look at this word. What did you notice right away, friends? Yes, it's a VCE word. I'm gonna scoop it, show the vowel O, the consonant T, and the magic E. I know that E doesn't say anything, and that O says it's long sound, so I'm gonna put this mark at the top to show it is long. That's how we mark a VCE word. Whoa, first graders, now you know how to mark these words. Can you make a butterfly? 
Let it fly around anywhere. Ooh. Gorgeous job. You're ready for dictation. First grade friends, we've done a lot of practice. You are ready to write some long vowel sounds, words, and even a sentence to show what you know. Let's start with the sounds. Please don't forget the way I showed you we can write these sounds. They're VCE. You can show that C, the consonant, with a dash. My first sound is E, the long E sound in a VCE word. The next sound is O, like the long O in a VCE word. And A. I should see long E, long O, and long A. I hope you wrote them the way we learned. Let's try for the words. The first word is lime. Like you might squeeze a lime into some water. The second word is grade. Like we are in first grade. And the last word is hole. Like there's a hole in my shirt. Those words were lime, grade, and hole. I'm going to give you a minute to write those three words. Go ahead. Excellent job so far. Now you're ready for the sentence. My turn, then your turn. They went to the cave next to the lake. You say it. Now visualize it. Think about what's going on. Make it sticky in your brain. They went to the cave next to the lake. Could you write that sentence? Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of time to do it. I can't wait to see it. Go ahead. Did your work look like this? If not, just fix it up now. Oh my goodness, Smarty Pants first graders, you did big work today with Magic E. You are off the hook. That is amazing. I can't wait to keep exploring Magic E with you tomorrow. 
please come right back here, same place, same time, for fun with phonics. I can't wait to see you. See you later, alligator. Bye, crocodile. Bye.